Thank you for clicking on the video. Welcome back to the channel. This is another review for Love and Marriage Huntsville Season 4, Episode 7, WAP. Wanda ain't playing. All right, we're picking up where we left off. The guys are outside questioning Martel. Even Lewis is chiming in. Everybody is grilling him. Do you love her? Do you love her? And, of course, Martel feels back into a corner, so he's being coy. He's not answering the question. He's trying to change the subject. You know, he he don't know. <laughs> and when, as it pertains to Melody, he ain't getting back with Melody. He says that they're not compatible and that, you know, that, that ship has sailed. I beg to differ. But, okay. Um, inside, Melody is telling the ladies, you know, about Wanda and how Wanda has been... You know, how Wanda, on one hand, is saying... I can see y'all back together. I want to see y'all back together. And then on the other hand, she's like on social media commenting on that girl's, well, Arian that is, commenting under her pictures and telling her how pretty she is. Like, you can't be team Holt and be over there talking to the side piece. So like, yeah, what's that about? And Wanda, she feels like, well, I ain't one of your little friends anyway. You know, you're Tisha's friend. Tisha, expect that from her. Don't expect it from me because I ain't finna do that. I'm gonna do what I want on social media because that's what I do. I'm gonna do what I do. <laughs> and and don't, I don't want to hear nothing about it because I ain't one of your little friends anyway. Um, Destiny chimes in, of course, and now she and Destiny get into it because Destiny feels like as a woman, it's just, it don't look good. It's a bad look for you to be, you know, cozying up to the side piece and your loyalty should be to Melody and um Martel, not 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 Martel and this other this other woman. Um but Wanda don't see it that way. She she feel like they just being insecure at this point. Um back outside, the guys are, you know, still grilling Martel. He's still being coy. He still doesn't want to um, dive into his feelings as they relate to Arian, but it's obvious you feel some kind of way. You have a whole child with her now, and you've also been dealing with this same woman for the past five years. You love her. <laughs> you love her. And so just say it with your chest and stop pretending like that's not what it is. Um, they changed the subject to, you know, the whole second marriage topic. Maurice, Louis and Zave have all, you know, been married. They're all on their second marriage, I would say. Marceau, on the other hand, it's like, ain't nobody doing that. Ain't nobody doing that. And Marceau say he ain't getting married again. It's, he's one and done. I'm with you on that, Marceau. I'm with you on that. We're not. We're not going down that road again. Like, I'm not to say that I'm like old, you know, and washed <laughs> or nothing like that. But I'm even even now, if something were to occur, I'm not remarrying. <laughs> so that's just that, um, you know, dating somebody lifelong companionship. Cool. But mm -mm. marrying again. No, no. One and done. I'm with you on that. Marso. Um, back inside Melody, she's telling the group. You know, that they don't ever have to worry about her cozying up to the side piece. You know, pray that I don't punch him in the throat if I see him. <laughs> um, Wanda, you know, she's laughing and she's like, I can see you and Martel getting back together anyway. Like, it's you you, you playing a game, but I can see y'all getting back together. <sighs> I would hope not. I would hope not. I can see it too, but I would hope not. Only if, um, only if, like, he makes some, some huge adjustments within his within <laughs> he got the change from the inside out okay because mark martell got a lot that he got you know with him that comes with with martell and once you've had a break from it i don't know if you want to go back i don't know but i i would i would hope that if they were to get back together that you know this would be a clean slate like for real for real um wanda she wants to know, like, you know, about the, the timeline. Because first, first uh, Melody tells her, you know, you, you're just like the older women that always want to perpetuate, you know, the bullshit. Like, trying to um, convince younger women that they should stick around and stay in toxic situations that are detrimental to their mental health, physical, whatever. Like, it's just an, a bad situation, and yet... 
older women, older, older Southern women love to tell you to just stick, you know, go on and just... Men going to cheat. You just got to deal. Let them cheat in peace. That's essentially what she's saying. Um, I hope y'all can't hear that. The man, the people, true green out there <laughs> spraying the grass. And I feel like they're loud. What, well, I what it. Anyway. <laughs> um, Wanda, she asked about the timeline, you know, between Martell and this other woman. You know, like, did you know all five years? Because basically, Wanda's like, you knew all this time. And you didn't care. So why, like, why get a divorce now? You know, you might as well just, you know, stick it out. Tough it, tough it out, girl. Put your, put your, put your big girl panties on. That's what Wanda say. Um, does she feel like they sister wives at that point? She got, and, and Wanda had a confessional. Wanda's confession, and y'all saw it. It's the, it's the thumbnail. Wanda's confessional look. Chef's kiss because. The wig was laid. Auntie looked real good. She looked real good. She looked it good. <laughs> and my funky Dineva voice. She did. She looked real good. Um, let me find my place in these notes, child. <sighs> okay, so anyway, after that, Wanda, you know, she's still, you know, taking digs. You know, she's, she's getting under Melody's skin. And what brought, what, you know, completely... Um, was the was the deal breaker she asked if melody was friends with the girl like were y'all friends basically like you do you knew about it you had to know you and her had to have had conversation in the past she's really you know dragging the issue and melody don't want to she, she don't want she don't want that out there at all it wasn't no situationship it wasn't no open marriage. It wasn't no, I'm, you know, I'm okay with him cheating. I knew about the other woman just as long as, you know, it was never, you know, brought back to me in any way. Like, Melody don't want that out there at all. So, no, we weren't friends. Melody blows up. I mean, she yelling. <laughs> she yelling and cussing. And, you know, Destiny's just like, okay, I think that's I think that's that. I think that's that. Wanda talking about some, okay, bye, Melanie. Bye, bye Melanie. Talk to the hand. Talk to this side, though, not that side. She gave her old, old, her old school read, you know. <clears throat> it was very auntie-ish. Um, but she was proud of herself, you know. She was proud of herself. She she went on out the door, you know, and smiled, with a smile on her face and everything. Um, when Melody gets outside, um, Marceau... First first of all, she come out there. Thanks, Marcel, for the invite. Your place is nice. The drinks were good. I like the WAP drink. Bye. <laughs> and he's like, whoa, whoa, wait. Come back. Come back. Grabbing her by the arm and all of that. I am not the only one that picks up on Marceau lusting after this woman. Every time he is around her. Every time he's around Melody, he is smitten. He's smitten. And I think that. Uh, it's 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 what Melody gives, you know. Tisha don't give that at all, and so I, <laughs> it's every time he trying to pull her back for a hug. What you need a hug for? She said, "Thanks for the invite." What do you need a hug for? See, that's why that right there is why they be saying what they say about you, Marceau. That's that's right. That right there. Um. Back inside, now Wanda's turning it on Kimmy. And now she and Kimmy are having having a back and forth because Wanda feels like Kimmy is always running behind uh, Melody. She saw Destiny run behind Me Melanie. And so she feels like everybody is, you know, always running behind Melanie, including Kimmy. And she don't understand. And what about Tisha? And blah, 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 blah. Like she's beating a dead horse at this point. Kimmy just wants to know why. You know, she she accuses Kimmy of talking about Tisha and her on while on the show and on social media. Kimmy is like, where did you see it? What did you see? What did you see? What did you see? What did you see? Tell me what you saw. Tell me what you saw. <laughs> you know, now we beating on the table. Tell me what you saw. What was it? What was it, Wanda? <laughs> what did you see, Wanda? 
Wanda can't say nothing. Wanda just going around and around and around trying to change the subject. And Kimmy keeps coming back to what did you see? Since you keep saying that I said this and I said that, what was it? What did I say? She can't tell her because cause Wanda don't know. Wanda just running off at the mouth. Wanda doing what she's, what she's supposed to do. When she leaves, she I mean, she left with the smile on her face like, all right, y'all see y'all tomorrow. Same time tomorrow, okay? <laughs> um. All right, so let me see. Okay, Melody. She's in the studio <laughs> playing in them people booth. Because <sighs> this song, this one here is worse than the first one. Um, in my opinion, it, it from my musical taste, no thank you. Okay, that's how we're going to say that. From my, from my taste in music, no thank you. Um, she's working on the song. Um, she's, you know, trying to, trying to finish up this EP. Um, I think the name of the song, I think this is the name of the song. I don't think, the name of the EP, I don't know. But the song, I think, is called The Side Chick Award. She swear up and down these songs are not about Martell and this other woman. And that it's just, you know, musical inspiration. She has, you know, a few other people writing with her who have shared similar experiences. So it's everybody's experience. Still, though, girl, we know that this experience in particular is what's driving, you know, all of this. But okay. Um, she get in there, you know, and sing her little, her little ditty. Um... I think you're so uncool. I think you're so uncouth. I think you're so uncool. I think you're so uncouth. Um, Destiny shows up to the session. Destiny say that's her favorite song. Um, they talk about Wanda, you know, in her mouth. And um and she asks about um Tiffany you know she's just like well first of all she yeah she asked about Tiffany and she asked you know what what was wrong with Tiffany she kind of felt bad for Tiffany you ain't feel bad you was just nosy but okay she said she felt bad you know for Tiffany seeing her cry she wanted to know what was going on and so of course Melody tells her about the conversation that she had with Maurice Kimmy and Kiowa and Destiny is just sitting back like mm -hmm. I mean pr I mean that's what I said a few private conversations should have been had, you know. She in, in her confessional, she says the same thing, you know. Has she had the private conversation with me at my birthday party? We wouldn't have got into it. Has she had the a private conversation with Kimmy at the birthday party? We wouldn't be in this mess, you know. So, yeah, a bunch of private conversations should have been had, and and this probably she probably wouldn't be in this in this situation. But okay, um. Melody, uh, she keeps calling Destiny aggressive. You know, she told Destiny that she was kind of aggressive at the um, at the taco thing. And um, Tiffany, she keeps coming. You know, Tiffany isn't like that. She's just not that kind of girl. She's very sensitive, blah, 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 blah. And Destiny's just like, I don't get that same respect. Like, you don't be around here. Like, do you warn your friends about all your friends? <laughs> and basically, she's like, yeah, you know, like... Some of my friends are more sensitive than others. Like you, and you do. You do have to do that when you have a group of friends who have all of these different personalities. Um, and it's not to badmouth the other friend. It's to, because I know people giving their friends a heads up on me. I know it. <laughs> I know it to be true. It's, it's, for one friend in particular, I know she does. She's And she's told me in the past, I have to warn the people you, you know, like because people be worried. Like, is she okay? Like, what's wrong with her? She's not smiling. She's not engaging. Like, is she good? Is she okay? I'm fine. I'm. Let me sit here with my resting bitch face and read the room, please and thank you. <laughs> That's all this is. You know, I'm having a great time, honestly. But yeah, I mean, sometimes you have to do that, and that's what that's what Melody was saying. But she keeps. You know, kind kind of coming to Tiffany's defense like she's defenseless, and it's like I don't think I don't think so. I don't get that from Tiffany. I get that Tiffany is being very strategic, you know, and how she plays this whole reality TV game. And yeah, she's playing a game. She's playing a game. Um, hmm. Tiffany, okay. Tiffany and Lewis, they out there doing yard work. This really, this scene really didn't matter. 
Um, they out there doing yard work, and now they now they both gonna say everything that they didn't say when they were sitting down with Maurice, Kimmy, and Kiowa, and they gonna just chalk it up to Kiowa. I mean, they just gonna chalk it up to Kimmy and Maurice having an issue, you know, because Kimmy didn't know. You know, Kimmy brought it back to Maurice. Now it's the thing of you know now I got to you know double back and um, chastise you a little bit. Basically, they're trying to say they got misplaced anger and that they're really upset with one another. And they didn't communicate with one another, but over-communicated with her. No, nah, girl, you shouldn't have been talking about them people's child, you know, in mixed company on national television. You shouldn't have done that. And, and that's the bottom line. So let's not change the narrative. Let's not make it seem like you're, you know, you're victims because you're not. But I do understand her husband's stand, standpoint. Her husband is just like, now nah, I get it. We don't apologize. But what we're not going to do is drag. <laughs> and if we see them again and we're still talking about that shit, we're going to have a problem. So I, I, I'm with you on that, Louis, because I'm only going to apologize one time. Once. Once. <laughs> and then after that, Balls in your court. Balls in your court. Um, okay, Martel, he meets with um, a business partner. And um, business partner is the one with the business license again. But he meets with his business partner. Um, he done did, did some, backhand, some backhanded business dealings. The 47-acre deal that Melody was asked to build on. He has gone, you know, around them and behind her. Her and Chris. And now he's got a deal, you know, and he's going to build on 44 acres of the 47 <laughs> acres, leaving them with three little acres, you know, to build on if they choose to do so. So he got his 47 acre deal back. Um, I don't know how this is going to smooth over with Melody or Chris because it's kind of underhanded. Like Chris didn't try to shade you in any way. He did what the buyer asked him to do. Now, granted, Chris probably, he definitely should have got on the line and gave you a courtesy call. But he didn't owe you that. I mean, not when we're talking about business. Not when he's when he has to um move, you know, like the buyer want him to move. <laughs> like you can't he can't do what he want. He can't just say, Oh no, nah, I ain't gonna go to Melody, I'm gonna go to my friend, you know. No, them people asked for Melody, so that's what he did. Martel still doesn't understand that. So now he done did some underhanded shit. And, and I'm sure it's going to... I know that the people are going to be upset about it. I just know they are. Because now he's, you know, taking the deal right from out from, you know, underneath them. Anyway. Um, okay. Tisha. Um, she's at home and Wanda comes over. And um, Wanda say, let me, let, me, let me sit down and talk to you about what happened at Black's. <laughs> black so with an s <laughs> she tells her about melody destiny and t and um and kimmy and all of that and the girls were you know she basically made it seem like everybody ganged up on her um she done told her that kimmy told her to shut up and she's like who told you to shut up who said that kimmy did kimmy ain't nan better told you to shut up kimmy said tell me what you saw not shut the fuck up and <laughs> you just really flipped that but okay wanda um, they're out there talking and, um, mama, she, she's of course always trying to, to throw a little bit of, um, what's the word? Not, I mean, she's trying to throw a little bit of salt, you know, on her daughter's marriage, but, um, that ain't the word I was looking for, but she, that's, that's essentially what I'm trying to say. She's always adding something extra, you know, in there, creating some type of insecurity in her, in her child and in her child's marriage. Although Tisha says she ain't, insecure, she's not an insecure woman. She ain't worried about Melody because Wanda told her that, um, What's the, Marceau gave Melody, you know, the bottle of champagne. And she knew about it, but she didn't know that he he gave it to her privately. And so now Tisha's like, what? Privately? Girl, I thought you was so secure. <laughs> you was just so secure and not insecure. And now insecurities are like popping out. Okay, girl. Um, 
Marceau ends up coming outside. And now they kind of tag team him. And um, I ain't like this. I ain't like I, I ain't like this. I don't I don't like when any woman or man tries to sun their partner in front of people, in front of your parents, in front of your friends. Don't do that. And when she grabbed his face, Marceau, I'm talking to you. Did you take it to her personally without me, without me knowing? Like, and it, he's like, and if I did, what? What? <laughs> what are you saying? Are you going to leave me? Is this going to be, you know, a problem? Like, she's creating an issue where there doesn't have to be one. You listening to your mama and your mama going to have you divorced. I'm telling you. She going to have y'all divorced because Marceau is only going to take so much of that. I mean, I know I, I, 15, I couldn't have taken 15 years of Wanda. I would have been left Tisha's ass or been told Tisha, we moving <laughs> and know your mama ain't coming. That's how you, that's how you separate yourself from the toxic in-law, you know, move away and don't tell them folks where you going at. <laughs> um, but a sit that that's really that's pretty much where where um it ends out at Tisha. Tisha does get her mama together like a little bit, you know, it's like now you taking it too far cuz she bring up the the other babies and all of that. You know Wanda going to bring up the mess. And Tisha's like every every time you come up in here, every time you on the scene, it's like a hurricane. Like you just leave it <laughs> you know just trash after you left. It's just that's just you a hurricane. <laughs> that that's exactly what you are. You like you tan up everything in your path. Um and again, that's Wanda's job. <laughs> Wanda say that's what y'all paying me to do. That's what y'all paying me to do. Marceau don't ask answer that question though. He he say he I am not gonna dignify that bullshit with a response. I ain't answering that. I ain't answering that. Won't ask like I don't I don't even know why we're even asking him that. Yeah, he gave it to her privately. And what you gonna do about it? You're not going to do nothing about it. So, Marceau really could have just told her, I did. Because at this point, M Tisha wouldn't have done anything. <laughs> like, there would have been no consequence for it or, you know, nothing like that. Because to me, it ain't even that serious. Was it in inappropriate? Probably so. He shouldn't be going over there to that single woman's house, office, wherever, you know, without Tisha accompanying him there. A I, I ain't even finna try to say it without Tisha being there. So, oh well. <laughs> um, that's that's where they end out on though. That's you know that's the end. Um, Tisha ends up you know going in the house and she sounded like she was about to cry. Girl, so stop playing around with your marriage on here then. <laughs> Don't be crying. People people love to create drama for the show, but. You you got to realize when the, the cameras have to come turn off at some point, and now you got to really be sitting around with the mess you created. So it ain't smart. It's not smart. All right, I gotta I gotta get off of here. I got so many more videos to do. <sighs> be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's Call Me Busby, and I'll chat with you later. Peace and light. <laughs>